Welcome to a new video by Story Academy, and in this one, we're going to skip the shitty memes. We're going to skip all those presentations that I like to use because I lack creativity. But what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to go mostly on my screen after this intro part and show you what you guys can do to make your site more mobile friendly. Because if you don't know, more and more users go to websites using mobile phones. Basically, not a lot of people use desktop as they did in the past to go to their favorite website. So it would make sense for you to make your uh, website responsive and to make it able for people that do go through their mobile phones to your website to be able to navigate your website. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys some cool tools and things that you can do to make your site better for mobile users. Because at the end of the day, if your site is optimized for mobile users as well, what's going to happen is you're going to rank higher on Google. That's because of the mobile getting algorithm or mobile getting update. Right now, it's time for the intro. So see you on the other side. Okay, so now that we are on the other side, the so-called other side, what's going to happen is I'm going to tell you guys first that the most uh, results, the most statistics that you can get for your website is basically from the Google Webmaster Tools or the Google Search Console, the analytics. Because those two, uh, I think they are video for themselves uh, if I had to explain those two, I would have to make 20 videos, 20-minute uh, videos each. And as far as, I don't know if you guys know, but there are actually professions that work specifically with those webmaster tools. So if you understand webmaster tools good enough, you can be making money off of that. So just to explain those things, it will take me a lot of time, which is why I'm not going to future them on this given video. But I am going to show you guys some good tools that I found, that I know about, that don't need a lot of uh, complicating thinkings for you to understand, that doesn't need for you to learn new stuff for a whole month to be able to understand some simple statistics. So this is the starting tool that I want to show you guys. It's called Google Mobile Friendly Test. And what's going to happen is you're going to write in your website here. And unlike the other tool that I'm going to show you in the next few minutes, this one doesn't ask for your email. So what this one does is just you paste in your website and start analyzing. So right now it is fetching the page and running some tests. And that, that is what these tools are doing. First, you give them that URL, and by using bots, they can see how good your website is, how fast it is, how mobile-friendly it is, and they have algorithms that take care of that stuff. So, not a lot of me talking right now. Let's let it pass, and I'll just edit this video. And that is done. I just pasted in my website, you're going to paste in yours, and it's going to tell you if your page is mobile friendly. By using some algorithm, it's going to give you a you're good or you're not good answer. So basically, it's a true or false kind of thing. And this doesn't tell me a whole lot, but it does give you some additional resources. But it just basically tells you if your site is mobile friendly. And it gives you some resources from where you can learn about. So if I click on this, it's going to take me to my Google Analytics. And it's going to show me about my website. And what I suggest you do is you actually hook your site up with your webmaster tools so that Google knows that that is your website and that you can see some statistics about it. That would be really useful for you guys. And here's where you can learn more about mobile-friendly pages. And these are some discussion groups. And what basically is a responsive, mobile-friendly website is when, let's say, I didn't have a responsive website. And the same way that you would see my desktop, uh, desktop view of my website, it will be the same way given to you on a mobile. And what you would have to do is completely annoy yourself and just zoom in and zoom out with your fingers on your mobile touch screen. And that is pretty annoying because it's hard to navigate it and it's not really fun to do those things. So it's basically annoying and what's going to happen most of the time is you're going to leave that website. And it's really good to have a mobile friendly website because Google ranks those websites higher. And what's going to happen is if this is my website and now it's uh, mobile friendly, I can just scroll down and see the content way better. So basically, my website changes itself for when it's showing on mobile 
than when it's showing on desktop. That's what it means to be responsive. Now let's check out another tool which is called mobile website speed testing. Again, we're going to write in our website and we're going to press on test now. Now this one is a lot more quicker and this one is used by Google. This is a Google tool and I think the previous one was also a Google tool and this one I like more because it gives you a bit more insight. So check it out. First thing it shows me are some stats. Mobile friendliness. I can see that it's good. The mobile speed is poor as well as the desktop speed. The reason for that is most likely because I have a video a sales pitch video at the start of Stoner Academy and that is slowing my website down. And most of the times when you do have a video on your homepage, that's going to happen. But that doesn't excuse me from making some changes. So why, so right now, I would be wondering how can I get my mobile speed to be faster. One thing you can do is actually just go to Google and write in how can I make my mobile speed faster. But the thing is, you don't really know why your mobile speed is slow as well as your desktop. So one thing you can do is go here and click on view the details at the bottom of this page uh, they're going to give you an option to for you for them to send you an email with statistics about your website but I like it this way more because you're going to get more information if you just click on this view the details but right now we know that uh, our page is good but we know that our mobile speed sucks so let's see what we can do to fix it now these are the things that it showed me it's telling me that I need to optimize my images, leverage the browsing caching, and it's telling me that I have some good things in here as well. I have minified the HTML, prioritized visible content, and that's all good. So what I suggest you guys do, and I already know the answer to this one, what you can do is end up uh, typing in on Google because now you know the exact problem for your website, and what you can end up doing is type in how to leverage browser code caching yes good grammar how to leverage browser caching and one thing you can do is get a plugin for this or you can just uh, read a simple article and find out how you can do it there I would rather just get a plugin most of the times if this is not my main money site for SEO reasons but if it was my main money site I would try to find the best long-term solution also you can find out how you can optimize the images and how you can eliminate render blocking so now something else you can also check out your desktop speed you can see what's there to fix and it's most of the times is the same thing so if you have a responsive theme on your WordPress block or just have a responsive theme most likely if you fix the problem on the desktop you're going to fix the problem on the mobile because the theme is like that now, like I said you can get a free report if you leave in your email but these are the, the same stats that you're going to receive now let's check out another tool and this one is called the mobile SEO page analyzer and what you can do with this one is first they are going to ask you for your website and then they're going to ask you for your email here and you're going to leave it in and they're going to send you a confirmation email you're going to confirm the email and then you're going to get to this screen where they're going to analyze your stuff now check it out what is showing me are these stats that I don't really understand that much I'm going to be honest here I'm not no uh, website geek I don't know these things I can just but the good thing is that I have these stats and I can find out what they mean so this can be useful if you want to find out more things about your page if you truly understand them and the final page that I want to show you guys is this one so let's check it out stoneracademy.com and it's going to take some time before it's done and now it is done and what it's showing me is it mobile friendly yes mobile speed is at 50 page redirects 0 and you want to keep it at 0 and Google Access yes now what do, do all these mean mobile friend you already know can people uh, easily navigate it on their mobile phone the mobile speed we already checked it out and we know what we can fix and Google Access this means does Google find it hard to access my website and to index my pages and page redirects is uh, when somebody goes to my page are they going to be redirected to another one and this is at zero and you want to keep it at zero which is really cool now these are some things that I can fix it's also showing me more things 
So it's telling me that the tap targets are small. I don't know what that is, but I'm going to search it up just to keep this at, at 100. Uh, the speed is at 50 or 48 of 100, and it tells me what I can fix. And down below, as you keep on scrolling on this website, it gives you tips and advice and things on you can do to get your site to be more mobile responsive and to be faster. That is pretty much it about this video. That is what I wanted to show you guys that there are tools out there that can help you a lot to get your website to be a lot better. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If it was, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, anything. Have fun for the rest of your day. See you in the next video.